Hi everyone, my name is Chitra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the key pieces of equipment that you need when you're shooting reels if you are a small business owner. Today's candle that we have is another one by Soymates. Um, it is a strawberry watermelon cake. I believe Soymates is an Australian based company. And if you're from Australia, you will know about the strawberry watermelon cake. It's a personal favorite of mine. This candle has a really good like scent throw. It really like lights up the room. However, um, it doesn't, it smells like watermelony. It doesn't have that same like scent that you get on the cake, which also has like a little bit of rose water and stuff. So it's not the perfect match for that cake. But anyway, let's get into the video. Here are the equipment that I think that is essential that you have when you're shooting reels for your small business. This is mainly if you're going to be shooting by yourself. And this is what I started with when I was shooting by myself for my small business. I think six or seven months, I was shooting completely all by myself. So that was from August, 2021. Um, that's when I was like completely shooting my by myself. That's when reels first launched and after like that period when we saw some success with reels is when I had somebody that was like an intern that joined us and then we were able to shoot some like more different things or even throughout the process as a small business owner if you really don't need an extra person if that's maybe not something what your goal is if say you're right now you're a solo entrepreneur you're a solo business owner the first person that you hire i obviously wouldn't recommend that to be a shoot assistant maybe like an overall intern or a business assistant or something might be more appropriate someone that can help you with shoots but in the beginning of this video i just want to show you guys what you would need to get started to start shooting by yourself but today i just want to talk about some of the key pieces of equipment uh, how to invest in them what order and how to kind of begin using them. I do have another video that kind of goes over how I'm shooting by myself and the studio room that I have set up. But in today's video, I just want to do a deep dive into the specific equipment that I'm using and that I would recommend for you. The first thing that I would recommend that you invest in is a phone with a good quality camera. So I've said this so many times before I say it all throughout my course as well, that having a phone with a good quality camera is much better and in my opinion much easier than buying something like DSLR right so remember when you buy a DSLR you have to learn how to use it you have to learn you have to get the correct uh, lens you just can't have a DSLR with the kit lens that's gonna do everything that you want it to do you have to invest and pay for editing software the process for all of that it just takes a lot longer one like the process for learning how to use everything and two, the process for editing and posting and when you're first getting started remember you're already doing a new thing which is creating content creating reels creating videos and posting it you don't want to add another new thing into the mix which is now you have to learn how to use this camera and now you have to learn how to edit on the camera as well you just want to keep your life as simple as possible and i would say most of us know the basic operations of our iPhone camera or Android like camera. We know the basics of how to operate it. So which is why I just recommend if you have a good one, stick with that or upgrade. Like that could be the first thing that you upgrade to a phone with a really good quality camera. Remember also your phone is going to be multi-purpose. I know when I'm traveling, I a lot of the times I don't carry my iPad or my laptop because I can do emails from my phone. I can edit and like shoot from my phone. I can do right, like write up documents, do a lot of things like from my phone. Whereas with your camera, remember, this function is just to shoot for you. It's not gonna be able to do all of those additional things. So in the beginning, unless you feel really confident with yourself and it's something that you really wanna pour money into, I would just recommend sticking to a phone with a good camera and not opting for a DSLR. But that is the first piece of equipment that I really think that you should get, a phone with a good camera. A lot of transitions in, you don't need a tripod for. I have a video that I cover transitions that you and your phone, no other person and no other tripod um, and I'm gonna link down below as well so check that out but that would be the first piece of equipment that I recommend that you get as a small business owner as a solo business owner as well a phone with a good quality camera 
The next two items kind of fit together. You can opt to get them separately, but the first item, which is a tripod, and the second item, which is a remote clicker, I find that they fit together like really well. The remote clicker is usually really inexpensive. I think I bought mine for like five or ten dollars, so it fits like it's an easy purchase that you can make when you're getting the tripod. So we currently use the Digitech 520 tripod. Linking it down below, I have an entire video on how to use this tripod. It does so many different things like the flat lay mode and like the extension mode that goes out to the side as well which is really handy so it like there's so much that you can do with that tripod so I think it's a great second investment you can do shots where you yourself are maybe speaking into the camera or you're just showing something with your hand or you have a lot more transitions that you can do and just a lot more flexibility you can be painting something on your desk or making packaging orders and just having your tripod kind of positioned above you and recording everything what's happening and you can obviously you start using both hands when you don't have the tripod you'll always be holding the phone and just like kind of pretending packaging or pretending to paint or pretending to make something. So it really allows you to expand the type of videos that you can make. A remote clicker will come in handy if you're going to be doing a lot of stop motions or if you're taking a lot of pictures or even to just start and stop a video. You don't have to keep running back to your camera and the tripod. Sometimes when I am doing a stop motion and my camera is mounted maybe higher up, it helps just to have a clicker that I can click instead of having to always climb up and press the trigger button or walk back and forth. Um, especially if you're shooting all day, it can be very, very, very tiring just to have those additional bits of movement where you are walking back and forth it would be a lot easier if you have your camera that's already set up you have your products that you're using to the side you have whatever you're shooting to the side and you can just press your clicker however again it's not a hundred percent like you definitely need it but it just makes your life so much easier and because the cost of it is not too much I think it does make good investment and the last thing you're gonna need and you're gonna need to invest in this a little bit earlier is an editing app so for photos I recommend Lightroom and then for videos I recommend InShot when you feel part of if you're a student in my reels mastery course you already know these two apps you already know all of the equipment that I've mentioned um, and also in the reels mastery course all of the editing or most of it that I show is in InShot as well so like it's a really really handy app I believe they have like a free version that has some ads and then there's also a version where you can pay and you get all of the different features and I think it is like a yearly rate and I highly recommend to make that purchase I think it is a really really good investment I edit videos for my Instagram pages at least minimum one a day like on average probably like five to six a day for myself and for other brands so for me it's just like make the purchase blindly I make I use the app every single day and I could not highly like recommend you an app that's you know gonna do everything that you need it to do you can edit your videos on the Instagram Reels editor but there are a lot of functions that are missing and I think that editor is a little bit clunky if you also are editing on InShot you get to save all of like those draft files so sometimes I will edit something um, just leave it there and then when I'm ready to post I'll grab it from there or sometimes like a couple months later I might just remove some of the clips add in some new clips and then I have like kind of like a new video that I can post for Lightroom that is what I use to edit my photos mainly I have like a Adobe subscription because obviously we have to edit a lot of videos as well and the app I believe for me it's free because I have that subscription I'm not sure if you if you don't have a subscription on your desktop if it's something additional but that is the only app that I use to edit photos with I don't use anything else the disco app or any other like face tuning app or anything like that I just use the Lightroom app just because mainly with photos I just want to straighten things a lot things and just like color correct a little bit that is the extent of the editing kind of that I will do if we're doing like client work or um, something maybe for my small business website where there's heavy retouching then I would use something like Photoshop but like when you're early on in your business you don't have to kind of worry about all of that I would just concentrate on the video editing app which is InShot and a good photo editor my recommendation is Lightroom but you might have another preference for that as well and that is the pieces of equipment and software I would recommend that you need and to be honest that is kind of all that you need 
product-based business, that is what I would recommend. Things like having maybe a drone or a gimbal might be useful if maybe you have a real estate, outdoor, a business where you need to move around in the space. However, if you are selling smaller products or just even larger products like furniture, all you would really need, phone, tripod, remote clicker, and good editing software. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.